What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and today guys, I am ready to share my entire Blu-ray 4K DVD haul for the month of March. Um, definitely a big month uh, for the channel, for adding to the collection. I have got 88 uh, new pieces of physical media in the collection. So as far as the movie count, because how I usually do it, like I got the Godfather trilogy. Um, I count that as one new piece of physical media. I don't break that down to the individual movies. So when I'm going through all like the different sets and stuff that I have, it's probably like over a hundred new movies that I've added to the collection. Um, but I got 88 new pieces of, of physical media that I'm going to talk about here today. So I hope that makes sense. But before I get started, guys, I've got a lot to get through. We're going to get try to get through it as quick as we can. I want to ask if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, hit the subscribe button. I do tons of physical media content on this channel. If you like Blu-rays and 4Ks, you'll definitely like uh, what I do here. So hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to comment down below, guys. I want to hear about everything that you picked up in the month of March. And if it's too much to type, just give me the highlights um, in the comment section below. I definitely love hearing about uh, what everybody got for the month. So definitely comment that down below. Also, like the video um, and turn on those bell notifications for future videos. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. I got a lot of stuff to cover. Most of this stuff, if you guys watch uh, all of my videos or you know most of my videos, you've probably seen most of this stuff before, but I do still like doing these just all in one uh, collection videos at the, at the end of the month just to kind of reflect on everything that I've added to the collection. So um, I've got a lot of stuff to get through. There was a lot of sales this month. There were some cool new releases, not a ton in the month of March. I got a lot of subscriber mail that I've, I've shown off before. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I, I finally got my drop dead Fred this month. It was like three weeks late <laughs> coming in, but I got it right at the beginning of the month. I really do want to do a review for this one. I need to watch it and review it. Um, and, and yeah, maybe I'll get that out next week or something. Cause it's a little bit of a lighter week. I think just screams coming out and I definitely want to review that. Maybe I'll review scream and, and drop dead Fred. So, um, yeah, I do need to watch this one. Vinegar syndrome title just came in too late. By the time it came in, I was on the doing the other things. So, um, do want to check that out. Last looks, this is a title that I was sent to me by RLJE entertainment. It's got Mel Gibson and, uh, Charlie Hunnam and also, uh, Morian Barkarni. I can't pronounce her last name, but uh, she was from Deadpool. I know her from that and also How I Met Your Mother, but we got a pretty decent cast in it, so hopefully this one uh, is pretty good. But yeah, I got this sent to me, so I definitely wanted to be sure to show this off for you guys. If I haven't yet, I might have already done it, but um, yeah, definitely check that one out. That one comes out on April the 12th, so that's a, you know early release copy. Also got the Godfather trilogy, of course. Um, I have reviewed the first two Godfather films, and I will be reviewing Coda this Sunday, so look out for that. So this video should drop on a Friday, and I will be reviewing Coda um, on Sunday. I'll be sharing my thoughts on that, so you're going to want to hear those thoughts, so definitely tune in uh, to that video when it drops. And uh, West Side Story, I picked up the Target exclusive. I really love the artwork on this, so I grabbed it. I haven't seen this movie yet, though, uh, but I am looking forward to, to checking this one out in 4K pretty soon. Um, Silent Nights. I got this. This was a early, I think this came out maybe the second week of March. The first week of March like had nothing. Um, and then the second week came and I think this is the only one I got. I haven't got a chance to check this out. I have heard good things about it. Um, I've also heard some divisive things from people that really didn't like this movie. So it definitely made me curious. And yeah, Keira Knightley's in the movie and the kid from Jojo Rabbit. So I'm going to check it out and uh, hopefully get my thoughts on that soon. Brian Loves You. This is a movie that was sent to me uh, by MVD, so I've already shown this one off. This one looks like an interesting title, uh, and from what people told me, that guy on the back right in there is uh, Norm from Cheers, and I forget his name, uh, George Went. so that's definitely interesting. I did not realize that because I think he's quite a bit older um, in this movie, but he definitely have a, has a history in horror because he was in House um, in 1986, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this. It's kind of a, I think it's kind of a found footage style horror movie, like cult type movie. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting into it. Brian loves you. Just haven't got a chance yet. The Boy Behind the Door. This is another RLJE title that came out this month. This one looks interesting. I love the artwork on this. Um, and I'm trying to see who the artist was because I'm pretty sure he's on Instagram. Um, 
but yeah, I, I don't know. I can't find it on the back, but definitely some cool artwork. And uh, yeah, The Boy Behind the Door, I need to check that out. So there's a lot of RLJE titles I need to catch up on, like Superhost. I'm probably going to try to watch them all, binge them all together, and just do an entire video just reviewing some of those RLJE titles. So that's my plan for those. Uh, Red Rockets, um, this is from the director of The Florida Project. Like I've said many times, I will purchase every single A24 film. I don't care what it is. Get it with a slipcover. This is definitely a really cool slipcover. Him and the Pink Donut. I don't get the context of the Pink Donut, but I'm looking forward to watch this movie. I love the Florida Project, so I love this director, Sean Baker. So uh, I need to check this one out sooner rather than later. Need to watch that one. Uh, the Flight of the Phoenix. This is a James Stewart film uh, from the Criterion Collection. I'm so glad I got this. Just, I haven't watched the movie yet. I'm hoping to get a review out for this one, too. Um, but this plane is just too... This freaking thing's closed. This paper airplane is just so cool. I was just so taken with it when I saw it. Um, so yeah, I need to watch that one and, and review it. This one I did watch and review, Dream a Little Dream. Uh, this was interesting. It's got both of the Corys in it. Uh, go check out my review if you want to see my thoughts on it. I, I had some thoughts on it. Uh, American Werewolf in London. This is one of my favorite horror films of all time. Came out in 4K. I reviewed it, so go check out the review um, for that one. I also got some other titles in from Arrow. I got Come Drink With Me, uh, which looks pretty cool. Perfect for Kung Fu Month. I need to do a Kung Fu Month. When am I going to get on that? Uh, to Sleep So As To Dream. I think this is like a, a noir type film, so I need to check that one out. I also got two titles from 88 Films, Shaolin Mantis and uh, Monkey Kung Fu. And both of these came out this past, month, this past month as well. So all the titles I just showed off were all of the newer releases this month. So now we're going to get into some of the random pickups, some of the sale pickups that I grabbed this month. I got Kino Lorber, Criterion, uh, uh, Groove had a sale that I picked up some stuff for, just random arrows and and uh, Screen Factory titles I picked up for 1984 month. But um, let's go through this real quick because I just did my Kino Lorber haul. I know nobody wants to see this again, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to show it off one more time. FX and FX2. Um, again, these are all Kino Lorber. Uh, Bobby Joe and the Outlaw. Looking forward to that topless Linda Carter, if you know what I mean. Um, Space Invaders. I got uh, a lot of people hyping this one up. People keep talking about it. I need to get to that. This might be the first one I get to, uh, you know, to talk about. Clockers, Spike Lee film. I got Scissors uh, with uh, Sharon Stone. I got Candy, which looks so interesting. It's got Marlon Brando in it. Uh, Black Sabbath, directed by Mario Bava. I got Bitter Moon, which I heard good things about. Uh, Black Moon Rising. It's got Tommy Lee Jones and Linda Hamilton. Definitely looks really interesting. Uh, Firebirds, which is Nicolas Cage's Top Gun movie with helicopters. And, uh, okay, so that's all my Kino Lorber. Let's get into Summer School. Uh, it's still in the wrapping. I need to watch this one. I really want to watch it, but this is a really cool Shout Select title. Uh, yeah, Shout Select. This is number 129. So somebody donated uh, to one of my streams of Phil's Creepy Videos, uh, so go check him out. And, uh, yeah, that's why I bought this one, because he said it was good and I need to watch it. So Summer School I need to watch and give my thoughts on. Uh, Field of Dreams. These are the two 4Ks I grabbed in the sale. So Field of Dreams and American Gangster. I've heard great things about American Gangster, Ridley Scott movie. I need to watch this one. Um, and Field of Dreams, again, another movie I haven't seen. Classic movie. I'm, I'm sure it's great. I need to watch it. Um, but in 4K, I went ahead and scooped those up to add to the collection. Got The Last Starfighter. I gave my thoughts on this one in a... Uh, review video, so go check that out. Um, I also got Ninja 3. I, I meant to watch this one like the la the last movie before 1984 month was over, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, so I'll, I'll get it at some point. Streets of Fire. I got a review up on the channel. This one, 1984 film. Uh, I think this is a, yeah, this is a shout select title. I also got Dreamscape, which is a Screen Factory title. I reviewed both of these. Go check them out. Um, you know, I definitely had some, some thoughts on those. Uh, these are my Criterion sale pickups for the Flash sale this month. I got the Red Shoes, which, again, another one I need to talk about in review. I need to get on this these reviews. Uh, there's just so much. Written in the Wind, which is a new title that came out this year. Definitely some great artwork on that one. Diabolique, uh, which was highly recommended to me. It sounded really cool. Stranger Than Paradise. I picked it up for 84 a month. Haven't got a chance to watch it. Jim Jarmusch film. Um, I need to watch that one. 1984, picked it up for 1984 month and did get a chance to watch it. So yeah, I need to watch that one. The Hit was from 1984. I did watch this one and I gave my thoughts on this in the uh, the stream that I did um, a couple of nights ago, The um, you know where I ranked all the 1984 films that I watched. So go check that out if you haven't already. Let's get into some of my very generous 
uh, uh, subscriber mail that was sent to me real quick. And I've got some other stuff that I'm going to cover too, but I got all the episodes of the original Batman show on Blu-ray. This is definitely super awesome and cool. Um, so, so thankful for this. I, I can see a, a point in my life where maybe I go back and watch all these, um, because I've seen bits and pieces, but I do feel like I might want to get into them. Uh, Vegas Vacation. So I have two of these on Blu-ray already, but I can tell you what, I am so excited to watch, uh, did I say Vegas Vacation? Um, a vacation collection, but I, I, I got ahead of myself. I'm so excited to watch Vegas Vacation on Blu-ray. I love that movie. Um, I used to have it on DVD, but I gave all my DVDs away like years ago and I lost it. So now I finally have it back in my collection. Um, it's probably Christmas and then Vegas for me. And then I would go original vacation and, and European as far as how I'd uh, rank these movies. But yeah, definitely love uh, the vacation films. I got the Star Wars set right here, which I already have in my collection. So I'm probably going to be uh, you know, selling this or giving it away or something at some point. But thank you to uh, who sent me this. I, I cannot remember everybody that sent sent me what, uh, so I apologize, uh, but thank you all so much, like, all this stuff is incredibly generous, um, including this right here, like, geez louise, which this was sent to me by, um, I believe Anthony Mastrani, who sent me this one, um, but my god, look at this, somebody sent me the Rambo set, this is freaking amazing, look at this, I've already showed it off in a video, but, um, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I was so excited when I got that, all right, so let's get into some of the other stuff that was sent to me. This is all, I think, most of this is subscriber stuff, and then I got some random stuff at the bottom. Uh, but I also got the Towering Inferno. I have really been toying with the notion of maybe doing a Disaster Month, so stay tuned for that. But the Towering Inferno would definitely be one I'd want to watch because I haven't seen it. What Lies Beneath. I remember uh, Huckman sent me this one from Huck's Pop Culture Cafe, so thank you so much. I am so excited to watch this movie. I haven't seen it since it came out. Underrated Robert Zemeckis film. I got Wolf Warrior 2 uh, in the collection. So, yeah, I'm excited to excited to watch that one. Uh, these two uh, were Canadian uh, war films sent to me by Brando Critics. So, Hyena Road and uh, Passion, Dale, Passion Dial. Again, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but... Um, yeah, thank you, Brando. Uh, let's see. I got some other random stuff right here. Four Timeless Westerns. Uh, so that's cool. A Bay of Blood, so another Mario Bava film, the Arrow video version. And uh, Philadelphia on 4K. I was very excited to get this one. Um, another 4K to add to the collection. The Secret. I haven't heard of that, but it's got David Duchovny. Rubber. I'm excited to, uh, to watch Rubber at some point. Take that for how you will. Uh, Beyond the Door. This is an awesome slipcover. This is a Code Red release. Uh, really cool. I'm looking forward to getting into that one. I feel like I've heard some good things. Uh, Frankenhooker. I need to watch this one too. I've heard wild things about that one. Uh, Wes Craven's Summer of Fear, um, which has Linda Blair. So I'm absolutely down for that. Uh, let's see. Panic. I got Panic, which looks like a cool horror title. Uh, this one, Mortal Kombat Steelbook, uh, which was sent to me by, I believe, Lapke Vision Films, which thank you so much, man, uh, because I was so sore that I missed out on this one. And, um, yeah, I was so happy to get this. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. They didn't do Mortal Kombat in 4K. I don't care if they do Annihilation, but I want uh, uh, the first Mortal Kombat movie in 4K. But definitely an awesome steelbook, so thank you so much. Hard Bali also sent to me, which is a Keanu Reeves movie that a lot of people talk about that I work with. Uh, so I need to watch that. The Hand That Rocks a Cradle, I definitely want to watch. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Really good things about it. The Expendables. I completed my Lionsgate, uh, you know, slipcover, Walmart slipcover edition uh, with these cool, like, you know, artistic graffiti-like slipcovers. Uh, so now I have all three of the Expendables movies with those slipcovers. Um, I got King Richard. Does anybody want to talk about King Richard? And I also got Spiral here. And I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, King Richard. I, I'm not going to say anything about it. No, look, King Richard. I love the movie. It's very sad what happened. I love the movie. Uh, this is another uh, Best Picture winner. Again, King Richard didn't win Best Picture, but you know what I mean. Uh, Best Picture winner. I think Frances McDormand won Best Actress for this movie. And, um, you know, the uh, Chloe Zhao won Best Director. I love this movie when it came out. I really did. I was happy it won Best Picture. Um, so, yeah, I, I scooped this one up because I think it was like eight bucks one week. Uh, Black Dynamite and What Dreams May Come. I scooped both of these up this week for, I think, $13 for both of them. I heard really good things about this one. A lot of people say this is like a hilarious spoof comedy. 
uh, which this one came out, I believe, in the mid two thousands. Um, so yeah, probably in the in the last dying breath of good comedies. Uh, what me, what dreams may come? I've heard weird things about, but I heard it's worth watching. So and Robin Williams, like you gotta you know, you gotta love Robin Williams and everything he does. All right, one thing I forgot to get into uh, for new releases, but I did get this Sing Two uh, Walmart set right here. Um, and yeah, this is a cool set. And I haven't seen Sing 2, but I got this because my I asked my daughter if she wanted it, and I showed her pictures of it. She said, yeah. Uh, so I got it for her. Comes with a little cute, like, microphone thing. Woo -hoo -hoo, woo -hoo. Can you guys hear that? I don't know if it's, like, activated or not, though. Um, I think it's just one of those, like, you know, non-battery-operated fake microphones. But, hello? Yeah, you can kind of hear it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being dumb. Uh, yeah, you can kind of hear it, like, reverberating. Um, I also got these glasses, you know, right here. These are cool. They don't really fit me, but uh, they'll fit my daughter. And I blew up this uh, blow-up guitar so I can play some guitar. Let's play some tunes. Play some jams, man. Slap in the bass. I know this isn't a bass, but, you know. Um, yeah, blow-up guitar. That's pretty cool. Like, not a lot of uh, Blu-ray and 4K releases are really coming out with, with blow-up guitars. So, that's unique. I like that. Walmart's pretty cool in my book. Uh, with that exclusive. All right, let's get into my DVD. Some of these are subscriber mail. Some of these are Dollar Tree pickups. And I think that's about it. I think they're, they're either all came from subscribers or Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah. Uh, the Claim, another MGM title from Dollar Tree. I got uh, Ava's Possession, which I got because it has uh, the actress I recognize from Scrooge in it. Um, and When a Stranger Calls, she's right there. I, I can't remember her name. I'm trying to look at it real quick. Uh, Carol Kane, I believe is her name. So, got Pieces of April with uh, Katie Holmes. Um, Mr. Show with uh, Bob Odenkirk, David Cross. The Purple Rose of Cairo, which I'm so upset. Like, had a freaking rip in the, in the cover. It's ridiculous. Better Call Saul, which is another Bob Odenkirk. Hey, both of those had uh, Bob Odenkirk. Um, so, yeah, it must have been a theme. But, yeah, Better Call Saul Season 1. I went and grabbed it. I like Better Call Saul. And, you know, I figured for... It's hard for me to turn down a whole season of television for a dollar. So, uh, The Disappointments Room, which I'm sure is very disappointing. This has a Kate Beckinsale in it. So, you know, I got it. Uh, things you can tell just by looking at her. I had to read that title before I showed it to you guys. Uh, you know, it looks generic, but it had a good cast. Original Sin with Angelina Jolie and, um, you know, Antonio Banderas. So, yeah, that looks like a steamy thriller. Feast of Love. I don't even know why I got this. Probably because it has Morgan Freeman in it. Uh, so, yeah, I got it. Uh, American Siege. Um, so, somebody sent this to me. And, look, we all joke about Bruce Willis. And I like to feel... Like, it's out of love, okay? And I know he's going through a tough time. He just retired. Look, Bruce Willis is a superstar. He is a star. It's very sad what's happening to him. It's sad that he had to resort to making movies like this for the past eight years of his career. Um, but you know what? I'm definitely going to have a lot more to, to think on about it, uh, for sure. Now, these movies are still terrible. You can't, you know, look, you, we can make fun of them. They're bad movies. But uh, as far as Bruce Willis in them... Um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, um, a greater deal of respect for the performance, uh, all things considered. That's just what I wanted to say. Again, I probably worded that all wrong. Uh, The Retreat, I don't know what this is. Somebody sent it to me, though, one of my subscribers. Um, Shadow World, looks pretty cool. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I remember Lapke sent me this one as well. This is... One of my favorite movies from my childhood. I, 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 this needs a Blu-ray, like right now. Vinegar Syndrome. What are you doing? Get off your ass and put out. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, like right away. Um, Animal Friends, which is like a collection of a bunch of animal movies. I was happy that this uh, to have Babe Pig in the City in the collection. I will say that. Uh, Young, Fast and Fierce. That looks interesting. Um, also got Shadow of a Vampire. She looks interesting as well. It's got John Malkovich, Willem Dafoe. Damn, that's a good cast. Uh, the Missing, which I meant to watch during Western Month. I'll have to wait till Western Month Part 2 now. Uh, Bats. I, I've heard of Bats. I've never seen Bats, though. King Cobra. So I think this one came out like right after Anaconda. Yeah, two years after, and it's got the Karate Kid guy in it. Uh, so that's cool. 
Uh, Clown House. These are some crazy titles. Uh, the Hitcher 2, I've Been Waiting. Okay. And I got The Binding. So, yeah, definitely some cool stuff. You know, thank you to all my subscribers for sending me this stuff. Um, you know, also Dollar Tree pickups, Criterion pickups, Kino Lorber pickups. Just a lot of different pickups this month. Uh, but, yeah, definitely a very fruitful month for the mid-level collection. And I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, in the comment section below, let me know what you picked up in the month of March. I want to hear about it. I need to hear about it. Comment down below. Also, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are in the description. And we'll see you next time.